These are the students of New York City Public Schools. There are 1.1 million of them. They are racially diverse, economically diverse. Hi. Hola. Ning. Hao. Namaskar. They speak hundreds of different languages, come from different countries, and lead different lives. Every year, eighth graders go through the high school admissions process to discover which school they will attend in the fall. Like this school here. It looks like it has a lot of opportunities. A swimming pool, a baseball field, advanced classes, there's so much. Wouldn't you think a lot of kids would want to go there? Well, yes, a lot of students do want to attend, but decisions are based on screens. They can't just waltz in there. This school screen is that it accepts students who can afford a tutor, have sports teams in their middle and elementary school, and live in the wealthier part of the city. With all that, I don't think this school is for you. Back on the admissions bus, everyone. Hopefully the next school will be a bit more attainable for you. Here's the next school coming up ahead. And look, no screens. There may not be a field, pool, or that many advanced classes, but in this one, the teachers are amazing and the cafeteria has windows. The seats are going to fill up quickly. Quickly, everyone, back on the admissions bus. We still have some great students looking to learn. Where will they go? This is our last school. Driver, is this a school? It is? Okay. Let's take a look at all the students we enrolled along our journey. These screens select, sort, and separate us. And not just in high school. There are middle school screens that select, sort, and separate 10 year olds and make New York City one of the most segregated school systems in our country. These screens make it easier for students with privilege to access more resources. The students who are screened out are often low income students and students of color, the same students who are feeling the most impact from COVID 19 right now. But students from these schools across the city have been joining together to form and mobilize a movement for real integration and real youth power. Where integration isn't about the movement of bodies, but the movement of minds. We are those students. In 2020, 66 years after Brown v. Board of Ed, our schools are still segregated. But we can change that. Join us in calling for an end to discriminatory screens. Our future is integrated. Ojo, Wajuwa, Odara. Unsere Zukunft ist integriert. Our future is integrated.